Hey everyone, welcome to another top 10 list. Uh, I found the most valuable note you could ever come across. And uh, this week's top 10 list is the top 10 reasons why it is so valuable. Uh, so we're going to jump right into it because I'm really excited about this. All right, here is the note. I found this in circulation and uh, I put it in a holder right away so that there's no more further damage. So let's talk about it. Uh, number 10 on the reasons why this is the most valuable note. The serial number, 59255659. If you look, you have twos, fives, there's one six, and there's a nine. If it wasn't for that six, this would be a trinary. And we all know how rare trinaries are. There's only 695,000 trinaries for every 100 million. So that's real. a trinary is really rare. But this one, this one's almost a trinary because of that six right there. If it wasn't for that six, this would be a trinary. So it's so close to being a trinary. It's almost a trinary. But this note has other things. Uh, number nine, you're going to notice that it has four twelves in the corner here. And if we look at this note, right in the middle, we've got two five five. Well, if you add up two five five, you get 12. Can you believe that? So right there in the center of the serial number, that two five five means that these twelves, I mean, that. what are the odds of that? That is just incredibly rare. So having 12 in these four corners and having these numbers here add up to 12, that's a really cool find. All right, so that's number nine. Number eight. Number eight, we're going to look at this F. Now, if you count out the letters, A would be one, B would be two, C would be three, D would be four, E would be five, and F would be six. Well, once again, when we look at that serial number, the six is what's preventing this from being a trinary. So that F represents that six. So if you take away the F, you can also take away that six, and now you've got a trinary. What a coincidence. The only thing stopping this from being a trinary is that six, and it's represented by that F right there. So that is number eight on the list. Number seven. Now, I'm sure you guys have spotted this immediately, which is in the center. There's a pair of fives. You have a pair of fives side by side. And it, you know how rare it is to have a pair of fives side by side on a note? Uh, let me tell you, one out of every 10 notes is going to have a five in whichever place you want to think about, okay? So that's one in 10 to have the five in this particular spot. But to have another five next to it, well, that's one in a hundred. So now look at how rare that is. We have almost a trinary. We've got the five, five, 12. We've got the F and the six. And now it has a pair of fives. So yeah, that's just multiplying the letters of magnitude. So now compared to any other almost trinary, to have one that's got that pair, that's that's one in a hundred. That's a hundred times harder to find. So what's number six? Number six on the list is the fact that that pair of fives right there is dead center. I mean, the pair of fives could have started, it could have ended, it could have been where these nine and twos are. But to have that pair of fives dead center, I mean, first of all, having the pair of fives, we're already talking about you know, a one in a hundred spot for uh, for a trinary, even though this is just almost a trinary. But to have it dead center, I mean, think about it. It can be first and second, that's one. Second and third, that's two. Third and fourth, that's three. Fourth and fifth, that's four. Fifth and sixth, that's five. Sixth and seventh, that's six. And seventh and eighth, that's there are seven different positions to have that particular pair. And since this one is dead center, that means only one in seven notes that has a pair of fives on it is going to have it dead center. So now we have almost a trinary, which is 
a trine a trine area that's one in, that's uh, seven hundred thousand only, and you've got a pair of fives which is one in a hundred, so that's uh, you know even rarer. And now you've got the fact that the pair is in the middle, making it seven times more rare. So what are we at? Seven hundred times rarer so far now. All right. Also on this note, this is number five on the list, and how appropriate for this to be number five. There's a five here, and a five here, and a five here, and a five here. This note has four fives. I know. What are the odds of finding four fives? I'll tell you the odds of finding four fives on a note. Roughly one in 10,000. Um, well, except since these aren't all together, I guess it would be one in 10,000 per spot. And considering we know that there's all these different positions that they could be in, maybe it's not quite 1 in 10,000. Maybe it's only 1 in, I don't know, a 1,000. <laughs> but 1 in a 1,000, and compare that to all the other rarities we're talking about, makes this such a really rare note. So let's go to number 4. Number 4 is bookends. You'll notice the first two letters here, first two numbers here are 5 and 9, and the last two numbers are 5 and 9. They're the same. Now, we all know that every note starts with two digits, but what are the odds of the last two digits being the same? Well, that's 1 in 100. So that means there's only a 1% chance of that happening, which means this is now 100 times more rare than what we thought it was rare before. So how many thousands of dollars are we up to now when we start comparing all these rarities? Uh, number three on the list. I know we're talking about bookends being um, a one in a hundred phenomena. But keep in mind that we're looking at two digits here, five and nine. There are 100 combinations that can make up a two-digit number which means to have 5-9 as the bookend is also a 1 in 100 shot. You could have had any two digits here as long as they match these two digits here. But this particular note has 5 and 9, and the odds of it having 5 and 9 in that position are 1 in 100. So now we've got 1 in 100 for the 59. We've got 1 in 100 more for it being bookends, so 100 times 100 is 1 in 10,000 right there, plus it's quads, so 1 in 10,000 with another 1,000, that's what, 1 in 10, or 1 in 10 million. Then we add in the fact that it has the pair of fives. Um, see, now we're getting into number two. Number two is when you combine all of these rarities. When you combine all of the rarities that we've got here, we end up with not just a note that is one in a hundred million. It is unique. And the thing is, is not only is this number one in a hundred million, it's also from the series 2017A. So even if you were to find this serial number on a 2013 or a 2017 or a 2021, there's only one from the 2017A series. So of all of the notes ever produced, that is how rare this is. And finally, number one, even if you could find one that had all the serial numbers matching, this is the only note featured in my video. So when you look at all the notes that have ever been produced, there's probably been... Hundreds of billions of notes produced. This is nearly one in, what would that be? Nearly one in a trillion. That's rarer than a, a, a solid. I mean, a solid, they make eight solids per hundred million. This isn't even one out of a billion. This is one out of a trillion because of those serial number combinations. And when you add that it was also featured in my video. So yeah, I found the rarest note you are ever going to see in circulation. And uh, if you would like to buy this from me, I will be selling this uh, on Whatnot. Um, and you can look me up as Kingdom Currency. Yeah, that's it. 
And this will probably be starting, I'm not going to start it at that $1 trillion mark. I'm going to go with a discounted price of roughly $1 billion. <sighs> Happy April 1st, everyone. I know I might be a day early on that, but uh, sometimes you just have to get that stuff off your chest. All right, I'll talk to you guys next week, and please don't put in bids. I am not selling this incredible note. <laughs> Bye, guys.